So it's April here in Wyoming. And around the country and the northern hemisphere, everybody's starting to think about their gardens and what to plant in them. Or if you're in the south, you're probably already planting. But for us here in Wyoming in the north, most people are uh, looking at their garden as a blank canvas right now, which is what we have here. So this is our family's garden. It's only 220 square feet of growing space. But this growing space can grow $1,130.46 worth of vegetables in its first year of production and every year after that with ease and probably a lot more than that. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So what we have behind me is three 25-foot beds and one 12-and-a-half-foot bed. They're all two-and-a-half feet wide. That equals... 220 square feet of growing space. And the reason I really want to show you this is because I see a lot of videos out there um, from sort of inexperienced gardeners talking about how they'll spend, you know, thousand or $1,000 on gardening gear and gadgets and nursery plants at the end of the year, they get a couple of peppers. You know, they're not getting a whole lot of food from that growing space. And that's extremely frustrating to me um, because it doesn't have to be that way. If you, and it doesn't have to be a full-time job to produce the amount of food I'm talking about. It's really easy. You just have to really stay on it week after week and devote a little bit of time throughout the growing season every week to it. And you can produce an incredible amount of food in a space this small in a growing season that like us, we have 120 days to grow in Wyoming if we're lucky. Some years it's about 90. So we really have to be on time with our planting dates and harvest dates to produce the amount of food I'm talking about. But um, most of the rest of America or even Canada is much longer growing season. So what I'm about to teach you in this video should be easier for you if you don't live in in wyoming but other places there's only a few places in america that are probably harder to do this that would include probably alaska and like north dakota and stuff but we live in a very cold climate here in wyoming so we have to be very efficient with our time and growing season to make uh grow enough food for us to last the whole year but i'm going to go over what it costs to set up this garden what it costs after you set it up and how I came up with that $1,130.46 worth of vegetables in this garden in your first year in this video. So to walk you through the initial costs to start a garden like I described earlier, I'm going to show you this Excel sheet which goes over the costs your first year and your annual cost after that. And I'm gonna show you a map of the crops that you can grow in that same garden space. So to start off over here, I've got labeled the cost to set up the garden I described. And these are pretty much the bare essential stuff that you're gonna to need to do a no dig garden like this. So I've got here, a dram wand, which is a really good way to water your crops by hand. Half inch hose, basically a half inch garden hose, $50. Wobbler sprinkler is a really good way to irrigate your stuff. Um, the impact sprinklers will not water super evenly. That costs about $60 if you buy it off the shelf. Then you're going to need your cardboard to stop the weeds. Um, you can get that at any recycling center. That's free. Just takes work. Um, wood chips. That is going to be covering your pathways. And that should be free. You can get it from a local uh, tree trimmer. The nursery is going to cost you about $200. You're going to need to get a metal shelving unit. You know, something real cheap you could get at Walmart. And then two 4,000 lumen LED lights for each shelf, three shelves. And that's more than enough to grow plenty of plants for this size of a garden. Um, then 
this is probably the biggest cost. Well, it is the biggest cost. It is uh, four yards of compost. Now, um, this is the most important part of this. You could actually probably skimp on some of these other things I mentioned. Even at nursery, you could grow stuff on your windowsill if you wanted to. Really cheap out the first year. But if you really want guaranteed success, this stuff is what I'd recommend. But the compost is something you can't skimp on because that is the initial investment that's going to really start supercharging your soil and you'll be able to plant right into it your first year. And that is $60 a yard roughly. And that all depends on where you're located. Um, locally around here, we're able to get it for about 60 bucks a yard and it's really high quality stuff. So that's where that $240 comes in. And you'll see how that really goes down the second year. Then seeds are another thing you can't really skimp on. You got to buy seeds to do all the stuff that I'm talking about. Um, and I'm going to go over exactly what this $99 covers in a bit. But um, and then lastly, I recommend you spending a little bit of money on high quality potting soil to make to grow your plants inside. So this $30 covers two cubic feet, which is a huge bag. Um, you should be able to grow at least... $1,500 of plants, uh, or 1,500 plants uh, that are about um, a 72 flat size with that amount of soil. That's more than enough for your entire year. It's probably too much. And you should look at the numbers here. This is a potting soil cost calculator. So for that $30, you bought a two cubic foot bag. And that seems like a lot. You know, a lot of people talk about you know, spending a lot less money on potting soil, but I think it's way worth it because if you think about what you spend at a plant nursery every year to go buy your tomato plants, you're going to spend way more than $30 on just a handful of plants. This saves you tons of money. Um, this $30 in potting soil saves you tons of money. You know, to put, to fill up a huge tomato pot, a four inch tomato pot, that's what this is. That costs you 18 cents. Okay. If you're going to go buy that at a nursery, that's going to cost you at least $3. And it's probably going to be more because I know the plants have been going way up in price, probably four or $5. So just do the math on that. It's a huge savings right there. Um, and so the total if you wanted to do this really well, the first year is going to be about $700. Now that sounds like a lot, but it's it's not when you look at the grand scheme of things and so i was talking about your garden um set laid out exactly like mine basically 220 square feet of growing space which is what i've got on display here that can grow you eleven hundred and thirty dollars and 46 cents worth of vegetables per year if you were going to go buy that organically at the store or at the farmer's market okay and i'll i'll explain that more in detail in a minute but this cost is 700 dollars. you're saving 421 dollars and 46 cents at the grocery store by investing your money here okay if you're going to buy all that stuff that we're going to grow at the grocery store that's only year one two that's the initial investment okay your second year and it should be even more productive because your soil is going to be better, is going to be way more of a savings, okay? So you're really only going to need to add about a yard of compost your second year to amend your soil, and you're probably going to need less seeds because you can still use some of the seeds from your first year, and those are about the only things you're going to need to buy, and $30 in potting soil as well. So you're going to need potting soil every year. So that's $160 in annual cost to, just to keep your garden producing $1,130 worth of produce a year. And you just saved almost $1,000, $970.46. You saved that by growing your own vegetables and doing it the way I'm talking about. So this is why it annoys me when I hear people say they spend like, a thousand dollars on gardening stuff and they grow like one pepper you know it does not have to be that way so now I'm gonna go over how this happened okay now to get the eleven $1 hundred and thirty dollars worth of produce the key is to grow 
more than one crop in the same space as much as you can. Now there's some limits to this, but what I've got here is a plot map, a garden map, basically just using Excel. And what this does is it, it's a map of the beds that I showed you earlier outside. And so we've got three 25 foot beds here and one 12 and a half foot bed basically over here. And I've broken them up into five five foot blocks that I'll plant a crop in. Okay, and this is a lot like how I do my farming uh, on a bigger scale, but it's the same thing just with a garden. And so I've mapped out five foot blocks in our beds and each five foot block is gonna have a certain crop in it for the spring and some of them will have a different crop in the fall. Some crops will just keep producing all year round, all season long, but other ones we're gonna keep planting. So for example, on our first bed here, um, we've got carrots, beets, potatoes, turnips, arugula, and lettuce. Um, those are kind of, you can plant them both in that same space and you'll get plenty. Okay, so that covers your salad, some turnips, uh, potatoes for the summer, beets, carrots. And this five foot section is going to yield 15 pounds of carrots planted in the way that we go over in the garden course. So that's 15 pounds of carrots that are planted around May 5th, maybe May 21st, and they'll be ready sometime in August, okay? That's 15 pounds of carrots. If you're gonna buy 15 pounds of carrots organically, you're gonna pay somewhere between two and three dollars a pound. Uh, that's, so that's where that 37.50 comes in. Now for potatoes um, or turnips, let's go over turnips. They're gonna be planted sometime around May 21st, you're gonna get about 10 pounds per five foot bed, and that's about $3 a pound if you're gonna buy really fancy um, hot rye turnips like we grow. And these are extremely fast growing turnips. Um, these grow in about 40 days, okay? And the <clears throat> uh, lettuce and arugula, we're gonna go over that too. If you're gonna buy this at the store um, in small quantities, it's at least eight to ten dollars a pound so this one bed can yield you at least um three pounds a week for two weeks okay because these kinds of crops you need to grow you need to harvest it more than once um to keep that yield going and that yields you about six pounds times eight dollars equals 48 dollars of salad that you would buy at the store if you've ever bought it at the store you know it's pretty expensive um Let's go over a couple more uh, uh, examples because I wanted to give a very diverse um, crop amount here because I don't want it to just be one thing. You know, you, you want to eat a diverse amount of vegetables. So broccolini, um, that's a really cool crop because it keeps producing for you every week and it's delicious and it actually produces a lot of food, but you just have to harvest it regularly. Um, so if you were going to plant broccolini in this five foot bed, that would yield you two pounds a week for eight weeks. That's where these numbers over here come in. And the, if you're going to buy that at the store, um, it's at least, um, well, let's see, I got, um, oh, I'm, I apologize. It's, it's, uh, two, I think I'm going four, it's going to yield you two pounds a week for four weeks but um the price is about eight dollars a pound retail for broccolini okay um and i know that's pretty accurate for around here so if you do the math on that that's 64 dollars in produce you can grow from this one five foot bed now the real value to all this so i i'm not going to go over every single crop here but you can see we've got carrots beets potatoes turnips cucumbers cabbage celery it's a pretty diverse garden um you know it all depends on what you want to eat you got zucchini cilantro kale snap peas you know there's some fun stuff in here so i've i've calculated the yield and the amount that you would pay at the grocery store um to come up with these numbers here and then over here is the total per bed okay and this is only the spring now fall um if you're going to if you do fall plantings of crops you 
double close to double your yields on the whole garden bed now this doesn't apply for every single crop here but just for an example the turnips i mentioned earlier they're planted may 21st if you were going to pull them out uh, around july 1st or so um, that's about when they'd be ready that whole bed is open to replant again you could plant carrots for a fall planting around fourth of july and that gets you another $37.50 worth of carrots by around October or so. Okay, so you can start to see how this works. If you keep, um, a lot of these crops can be flipped into a second crop. Almost everything here can be grown into a second crop. Everything here, carrots, beets, potatoes, uh, turnips, lettuce, they'll all be done by around 4th of July or um, early August, and they could be replanted with all of these fall crops. Spinach, potatoes, radishes, carrots, and so um, that gets you an additional $175 worth of produce just on this bed for the fall. So if you do the math on everything I'm, I've got labeled here, it's, it totals up to $1,100 and 30, or, or, I'm sorry, $1,130.46 worth of produce grown in about four months of growing season. It's not a lot of time. So uh, this is extremely valuable skill if you know how to do it and you could really grow yourself a lot of food with not a lot of inputs. Okay, so here I have a seed order from True Leaf Market which is where I'd recommend you buy your garden seeds because they have the best deals on bulk and really good selection and a lot of open pollinated stuff that you could actually save seeds from if you wanted to. So just to demonstrate what I was talking about with $99 seed budget for your first year, this is going to get you enough seed for probably two years, no problem, but you know, we're just going to do, I want to walk you through this. So, uh, We've got um, about 20, maybe 15 to 20 different varieties of seed here. And I want to just walk you through this. Um, True Leaf Market, here's their website. You could buy all sorts of vegetables, herbs, cover crops, really, really phenomenal selection. And they just recently bought um, Kitazawa seed, which is a really was a really cool Asian seed company. So they have really good like Asian cabbage varieties and stuff that you can't get at a lot of other seed companies. But anyway, um, so first off, I've got uh, red Russian kale. Um, you know, I like to buy stuff like this in a little bit bigger size than just a, a small one seed packet because for an extra dollar or dollar fifty, I get an ounce of seed, which is a couple thousand seeds where one packet's going to be a couple hundred. So you spend an extra dollar, you've got years worth of seed right there. Those are little tricks to really stretch your budget. If you are, you know, you, you want to be efficient with your money. Same with the beet seeds here. I bought four ounces instead of just a packet because that's going to be a like couple thousand seeds. That's a good for a couple years. Same with green onions. You know, I'm only doing with this with crops that I know take a lot of seed to grow a decent amount. Um, I don't do it with everything, but with stuff that you're doing a whole like line of seeds in the ground that uses a lot of seeds. So you want a little bit more than just a normal two, $3 seed packet. Um, but like with these Chinese, uh, Napa cabbage, that's a $4 for a packet. That's still a ton of seed, but we're going to be starting that in our nursery one seed per cell. So that's, you don't need as many seeds for that. Dill, you need a lot of seed. Cilantro, a lot of seed. So I bought a little bit higher amount there. But then once we start getting into stuff like zucchini, I just bought the smallest packet they got because we don't need that many. We only need like three or four plants, and we're gonna get 60 seeds in a 250 seed packet. You know, um, spinach, I bought a little bit more. That's a three dollar spend for uh, 15 grams of seed. Radishes is another one where you use a lot of seed to get a lot of radishes, so I bought a little bit more. So I, I think I, it's like a couple grams for the $2.50 packet, but for a couple extra bucks, you get an ounce. That's a couple years worth. Same with sugar snap peas. Um, four ounces will be a couple years worth. You want to a lot of seeds for that planting. 
bok choy was just so cheap to get an ounce it was like an extra two dollars for basically for the packet you get literally 100 seeds for two dollars and fifty cents for an extra four dollars i get two thousand seeds you know so it's worth paying a little bit extra just because your seeds will last a while um it is better to use fresher seed but if you store them correctly you'll get a couple years out of them you know stretch your budget a little bit onions i think i like to bre i like to buy those fresh every year because germination is kind of rough on those um but that one 250 is like a thousand seeds or something um and then lettuce we kind of bought a mixed green packet you could either sow those in your nursery and get a plant or you could just sow those direct in the ground and get like a little lettuce patch celery was like you know i get like a thousand seeds for two dollars and fifty cents that's enough celery for a long time um the rest of these is pretty much all just a small seed packet carrots i bought four ounces because we use a lot of seeds for those so there, we're at $97.74 here for um, the seed budget, and so we're under 99 and I wanted to leave it a little bit of room there because you might not want some of these things. You'll notice I didn't put tomatoes in here, and the reason for that is, at least in our climate, it's hard to get a huge amount of food from tomatoes um, just because we rarely get many ripe at all um, that's mostly because we're in such a cold climate you know if you're in illinois or something in the midwest you're gonna have a much better luck you can get a lot of yield from like uh, a determinate plum tomato and get a huge canning uh, bumper crop of tomatoes but i left those out in this example just because it doesn't work great in wyoming and i want it to be relatable to really cold climates but you could do tomatoes. I do a lot of tomatoes on the farm, but um, I have them in a greenhouse and special conditions and stuff. So anyway, just, just to walk you through a little bit of that, because I don't think a lot of people think about buying bulk with seeds and how much money you could save. So for basically this $100 investment is probably two years of seeds. That's a couple thousand dollars worth of food, you know, um, if you know what you're doing and can grow them to maturity and stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to walk you through True Leaf Market. Um, I love their seeds and I love the company they bought, Kitazawa Seeds. They're so cool, um, fun to grow. And um, that should uh, help you a little bit with your budgeting. So if growing $1,130 worth of produce in your first year sounds interesting to you or you want to achieve results like that, I am offering a garden course called gardening 101 through homesteadmentors.com where i go through everything you need to know from start to harvest on producing the amount of food that i'm talking about in this exact garden we actually walk through how we set up this entire garden and how we plant it maintain it and weed it harvest it everything everything you need to know to actually produce the crops in about seven hours of videos on homesteadmentors.com. And it's a great resource if you don't have time to spend hours and hours on YouTube trying to find everything. Uh, everything is in one place and I will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to produce the best garden you've ever grown. I will put all the links in the description uh, for the garden course. And there's also a phenomenal community on homesteadmentors.com where other growers and homesteaders are getting together to share their experiences. Um, and we are also doing monthly webinars for at least the next two months. We're going to do one in May and in June where I will do uh, small courses on how to plant and weed and stuff like that. Um, and those are coming up the first Monday in May and first Monday in June at 7.30 p.m. Um, it's a live webinar you could sign up for and get the replay if you're not able to make it. But I will put all the links in the description. Um, I hope you check the course out and I hope you start the best garden you've ever had this year because this is going to be a great year to do it this is already shaping up to be a phenomenal growing season around here it's really really warm um we are going to be planting this any day now and also if you're interested in this kind of content i'm going to document 
what I'm talking about in one of these 25 foot beds. So what I just described was this whole garden. That's three 25 foot beds in a 12 foot bed. I'm going to walk you through this whole growing season. I'm going to use probably this very bed uh, and show you the growing techniques that I'm talking about, just so you know, I'm not blowing smoke and I actually can do this. So we're going to grow two crops in this 25 foot bed. And I bet you we're going to grow somewhere in the neighborhood of three to $400 worth of produce. So I'm going to actually beef up those numbers. So I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for more content like this.